I thought we could both use some change, a newer perspective to see how life looked in a different lane. But here in your arms, I can't leave now, 'cause I don't. I vow to be with you always in peaks and valleys, so that our love drives our decision making, our lifestyle, our reconciliation, and our unity. I understand how important trust and faith are to you. I promise to be there when you call, and I promise to be your rock when you need. Transparency and love. I'll love you always. I cannot imagine my life without you, and I'm looking forward to our future together. I vow to always love and support you. I will always be there for you, no matter what. I love you more than anything. You are my soulmate. You are my best friend, and the only person for me. I am so grateful for you. I can't express what it means to. Has a funny way of growing for those that don't mind slowing down. Time is as fleeting as a sunset, hiding in the evening clouds. So live with me here in this moment now. Can we live right here in this moment? Calvin, please place the ring on Heather's finger and repeat after me. Heather, I give you this ring. Heather, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with the pledge to love you. And with the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Today, tomorrow, always, and forever. <laughs>
And now, Heather, please place the ring on Kelvin's finger and repeat after me. Kelvin, I give you this ring. Kelvin, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with the pledge to love you. And with the pledge to love you. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. Today, tomorrow, always and forever. Mr. and Mrs. Calvin and Heather Edwards.
As many of you know that Heather and I are cousins, but we act more like best friends and sometimes sisters when we are together. From playing with American Girl Dolls up north in the bunk beds, to having dance routines to Justin Bieber in One Direction for our entire family during holidays, I think our whole family can agree that we brought a lot of entertainment at a young age. I've had the privilege of Heather being my life from the day I was born, and we have gone through the highs and lows together. There is no one else I would have rather shared life's small pleasures and big moments with. I now want everyone to raise their glasses and let's cheers to the beautiful couple, Heather and Kelvin Edwards. Uh, he said he'd started talking to this girl recently. Um, he can't stop thinking about her is what he said. So he was going to visit her in Georgia for the weekend. And honestly, dude, I thought you were crazy. Uh, I really did, but, but he went down there, he did it. He drove all the way down to Georgia because he couldn't stop thinking about Heather and seeing them together since then, and especially today, Calvin. I know why you would drive across the country to spend a weekend with her. He saw right away that Heather was the one. Calvin, I've never in my life been happier for another person. And I just wish you the best of luck. And I thank you, Calvin. And I'd like to propose a toast to Calvin and Heather. Um, before I continue, I'd like to see a raise of hands. If at some point during the speech, you think I'll cry. I see a lot of hands out there, and now I should probably say before I continue, if you're at the ceremony, if Calvin will cry. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Today, our beautiful daughter, Heather, married the love of her life, Calvin. I was honored when I was asked to give the speech. After months and months of planning on how today would go, little did Heather know that when asked me to give the speech, she'd not be able to control how the next 15 minutes would go. <laughs> so I went on to prepare, prepare a funny wedding speech, but Heather's mother made me read this one instead. <laughs> Seeing the happy couple walk down the aisle today, I'm sure everyone would agree, Heather looks simply stunning. mother of a son is like someone breaking up with you really slowly. That is a quote from a movie called The Otherhood. I'm sure lots of parents feel this way. All kids grow up and grow away, break up with their parents slowly, but surely because they need to. And if they do, when they do, it means as parents, you got it right. A couple of years ago, at the end of a beautiful Sunday weekend, Calvin came over. He was acting really nervous. <laughs> and we made small talk. And finally, he and I sat down on the deck, and he started to tell me what had been weighing so heavily on his mind. He had met someone, and she was quickly becoming very special to him.
applause for words. I appreciate everyone that's in here. You've either touched me or you've touched Heather in a certain way, whether it's, you know, coworkers, family, friends, whatever the case may be. Um, we wanted you guys here, so thanks for coming. Um, please have a good time. Thank you all so much for coming.